Got a lot of people traveling to and fro? Why corporate shuttles are becoming more attractive to flight departments nationwide. From the National Business Aviation Association, this is Flight Plan. I'm Pete Combs with your trusted source for business aviation news. For power plant manufacturer Cummins, it just makes sense. Cummins is based in Columbus, Indiana with interests and plants in places often very far from major airports, places like Jamestown, New York and Rocky Mount, North Carolina. So, the company looked at ways to decrease travel time and costs and increase productivity as well as employee morale. The answer? A corporate shuttle program headed by Lee Blake, who's also chairman of the NBAA Domestic Operations Committee. We know for a fact, whether it's from conversations or surveys, that our passengers love multiple aspects of our shuttle operation. They love the the predictability. They love the fact that on certain flights, they're going to be able to go to work all day, be home for dinner or for their child's soccer game. They know that Even if they're traveling multiple days on us, they're going to be home probably two days quicker than they would if they're flying commercial travel. But to justify the existence of a corporate shuttle program where you have scheduled flights to predetermined destinations, you need more than simply the knowledge that employees like it. You need to justify the idea with numbers. Matthew Grunenwald is a Ph.D. candidate at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University studying the utilization of corporate air shuttles. The air shuttle avoids the cost of staying in a hotel and all those extra costs that are real to a company by providing an optimized form of travel, maximizing productivity, and enabling better work-life balance. The other component is the congestion of everyone trying to go to that airline's location. The economy lot, the security lines, the pre-weight before the seat. To that end, Lee says the answers are in the data. You have to see where people are traveling to because you can see how many passengers and how many dollars are being spent between a, a Columbus and a Minneapolis, for example. But you can figure out the equivalent of that to a Jamestown, New York, where there's no commercial airline service. What you do is you look at the surrounding airports, the Buffalo, New York, the Erie, Pennsylvania's, and you see large concentrations of travel to those, we know we have a facility in the middle. That's where they're going. I'll have more on corporate shuttles in just a moment. But first, please, this message. Whether you're looking for a job or looking to fill a job, NBAA can help. The association's business aviation job resource is designed to make it easier for business aviation professionals to find the newest available positions and gain greater exposure to hiring companies. In turn, companies are able to post openings to find the most qualified people in the industry. It all starts on the Internet at nbaa.org slash jobs. Welcome back to NBAA's Flight Plan. I'm Pete Combs. I'm talking with Lee Blake, Chief Pilot of Shuttle Operations at Cummins Incorporated, and Matthew Grudenwald, who's studying the utilization of corporate shuttles as part of his doctoral studies at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Matthew says when you consider the cost-effectiveness of flying scheduled missions to and from an established set of city pairs, you have a number of factors before you. Consider the time wasted in the commercial terminal, going through security, waiting at the gate, the cost of renting a car, hotels, and meals. And there are other cases where your choices are few and quite literally far in between. A good easy example is Alaska. There are companies that need to fly employees from the bigger cities to the oil fields. There is no alternative. But for the vast majority of situations where there are travel alternatives, Matt says there is a way to calculate not just the direct financial impact of a corporate shuttle, but the indirect impact as well. There is an economic value of time, and the U.S. government uses a formula for calculating economic value for time for all transportation-related projects. And the big benefit is the reduced travel time, whatever it may be. For more information on corporate shuttle operations, check out the website, nbaa.org slash part 125. And that's the latest from the National Business Aviation Association. I'm Pete Combs. Thanks for listening to Flight Plan.